What's up, Army? Welcome back to another video. And if you've been watching the channel for a while, you'll know that I like to keep my videos family friendly for the most part, apart from the occasional innuendo, you know, for the dads. But today's challenge has a name which could be construed as rather rude. So if you have any kids with you, cover their ears. I'll wait a few seconds. All set. Ears covered. Are you sure? I'll give you a few more seconds. All right, because the name of today's challenge is the Massive Cock Burger. Christ. Exactly. It's a chicken place. Play on the word cockerel. Yeah, unnecessary. Whatever. Let's do it. How big is that? Absolutely massive. It's massive. So basically, on the plate, it comes up to it's like tall. Right. In that case, can I get two massive cocks, please? Absolutely, yeah. I think I'll never say that again. Um, <laughs> all right, so this thing is called the massive cock. <laughs> Mark IV. I'm at the yard and coop, and I'm taking on two of these things, just because. Oosht. What's up, Ben Army? Welcome back to another video, and uh, today. We're not just crossing the innuendo line, we're smashing through it with a testicle-shaped wrecking ball. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. But, uh, yeah, I apologise about the name of this thing. I suppose I could have called this video the, the massive cockerel burger, but that would have just sounded weird. I'm going to have to come up with uh, with some way to, to rename this, otherwise it'll get taken down <laughs> by YouTube. Pretty sharpish. Anyway... Uh, today, like I said, we're doing the massive C star star K burger times two. I'm making a mess. Not for the first time. You don't say. You're making a clucking massacre of that thing. <laughs> I'll stop. I'll stop. I'm sorry. Anyway, so I was sat in my uh, my barber's right, Lord's Barber in in Leeds. Get my hair cut there every two weeks. And uh, they told me about this new place that opened called Yard and Coop, which did, quote, a food challenge that I should look into. Hash brown. <laughs> That's always one point in the meal that I absolutely dread. The, uh, the good old check back from the waitress because I'm like almost always just a mess, you know, eating like a pig. Anyway, she was really nice. In fact, all the staff here were, uh, were really nice. But uh, yeah, the story behind this is my barber told me it was like a, a food challenge, right? And I went on Instagram and I saw that there were a bunch of like hashtags saying like, you know, can you beat the challenge and stuff? And when I got there, I realized it's not actually a traditional food challenge in the sense that you get it free if you finish or any kind of prize or anything. I think they put you on like uh, their Facebook, maybe they've got like a Facebook wall of fame or something. This, by the way, was delicious mac and cheese on top of a Herbie spatchcock chicken. I think that's the word for it. Like a flattened down chicken uh, fried in there. Traditional aged batter, but um, not aged in a bad way. It tastes really good, but they do something with it, which makes it taste good. Uh, anyway, so I arrived and I was like, right, this, doesn't actually look that big. I mean, it's pretty big. It's probably, I don't know, pushing four pounds with the fries. I think, yeah, an easy four pounds with the fries. So I thought, whatever, let's just do two. Let's push the boat out, see if I can finish two of these things. This tastes like a giant pork scratching. Yeah, I think this was a pork scratching. I'm not entirely sure. It was really, uh, really chewy. Definitely some kind of uh, cooked fat product. <laughs> But um, in terms of the actual constituents in this thing, I'm not sure even I could tell you. I, I just ate it yesterday, but it definitely has a bun, right? Because it's a burger. And that bun's covered in like a sweet mayo. There's some sriracha sauce on there as well. The bottom layer is a uh, like a Herbie fried chicken, as I mentioned, 
there's a veggie, I think it's like a veggie patty in there, which again is deep fried and a little spicy. That was nice. That's topped with mac and cheese. Again, the mac and cheese is really good. A lot of people think it's overkill when, when places put, you know, mac and cheese on burgers or in other stuff, but it was just the right amount here, you know, it wasn't, uh, wasn't too much. There's a hash brown in there, you can just see it there. I think I'm just about to pick it up. Um, and a couple of other chicken burgers, and it's topped with two, you know, deep fried chicken drums. And then you get uh, a pound of fries, sweet potato and regular. It's quite an appropriate song. Yeah, I had nothing to do with the choice of that song, but um, Marvin Gaye, right? Perfect soundtrack to eat some good old fashioned soul food too. And uh, Marvin Gaye, I always think of uh, his tragic death. Shot at point blank range by his dad. I think that was Marvin Gaye anyway. Let me know in the comments if I'm if I'm right about that. I'm pretty sure I'm right. I mean, I've heard of negligent parenting before, but that really takes the biscuit. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get off that topic. Not really the kind of thing to be talking about while eating but um yeah this was some good food i really enjoyed the first one at least the second one was a little uh a little more tricky but um definitely enjoyed the first one and um this is it's a big burger you know even though it's not a traditional food challenge in uh in that sense of the word it is a large burger it's probably about the same size as the highway 55 55 burger challenge which is about four pounds i've done that twice before you can see that on my channel but um, yeah, the waitress actually tells me in just a second that this has only been defeated once before, just once. And they keep um, adding to it. The, the cool thing about this place is the the massive, I'm not gonna say it again, but this, uh, this burger challenge has four incarnations, right? So it did like version one, version two, version three, and this is, is Mark IV, right? So this is the biggest one yet. They just keep getting bigger and more mutated every time. This one's topped with a, uh, like I say, two um, pieces of fried chicken. So um, yeah, they were they were pretty uh, blown away by me attempting two of them. They didn't think I was going to be able to do it. And I, I should apologize about the color at this point. You'll notice it's a bit psychedelic and, and washed out and stuff. That's because I just had the camera settings wrong, you know. Amateur hour, I apologize, but um, I didn't have it on auto white balance and it, it got really sunny, so it looks a little too warm. Thank you so much, thank you. One person has finished one of these. That's embarrassing. I'm kind of embarrassed about how smug I look there. Is that how smug I look in real life? It really wasn't my intention to come across quite that um, full of myself. <laughs> but um, I thought more people would have finished this, you know? It's not so big, you don't get any kind of time limit, and the food is good, but... Uh, I guess we British can't eat. You guys made this? <laughs> it's delicious. It tastes really good. I should have got three. <laughs> so the uh, the chefs, two of them, I assume it was a two man job because they both said that they uh, they made the uh, the burgers maybe they had one on on each burger one definitely looked a lot better than the other but uh, yeah they were definitely surprised that um, I managed to get close to two down at this point I'm, I'm nearly finished but um, yeah I really enjoyed this meal you know um, it was a uh, it was a good bounce back from the uh, the whole Popeyes chicken debacle I almost put me off fried chicken for life trying to eat like 30 chicken tenders with no sauce and that weird squeaky batter. If you haven't seen that video yet, you won't know what I'm talking about, but uh, that was the last meal I had on my uh, my trip recently to Miami. But uh, yeah, this was good. I would really recommend this place. Um, there are a few across the country. There's one in Manchester, one in Liverpool, um, I think. But I was really impressed with the meal. The, the, the burger, it's a little over the top. Not everyone would order it, but it tasted fantastic, which is not always the case with burgers this big. You know, it was creamy, cheesy, but not too cheesy. Succulent chicken, crisp, a little spicy. It's just a shame about the name. In fact, when I got home and told Mrs. Beard what I'd done, she said, well, at least one of us has eaten a massive c I feel like it's like a
smashed it. I'm sorry if I made a little bit of a mess. No, mate. That's that's not bad for me actually. That's brilliant. I mean, what could we expect? <laughs>